Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. While more complicated than the automatic transferring of job credits for a customer available in QuickBooks Desktop Pro 2019 or later, you can also manually transfer a credit between jobs if using QuickBooks Desktop Pro 2018 or earlier. To do this, you must first create a clearing account in the chart of accounts. When creating this account, you may want to make it a bank account type for ease of use with more transaction forms. However, you can also make it another current assets account if you know you will only use it for transferring job credits. After creating the clearing account, you must then create a general journal entry to transfer the credit from the job to the clearing account. To do this, select Company, Make General Journal Entries from the menu bar to open the Make General Journal Entries window. On the first transaction row, select the correct Accounts Receivable account for the job from the Account column. Then enter the amount of the job credit to transfer under the Debit column to the right in the same row. Then select the name of the customer job from which you are transferring the credit from the Name column to the right of that. On the second row, select the name of the Clearing account from the Account column. Ensure that the matching job credit amount appears under the Credit column for this row. Then click the Save and Close button to record the first general journal entry. Next, link either the payment or credit from the job from which you are transferring the credit to the general journal entry you just created. To do this, open the Customer Center by selecting Customers, Customer Center from the menu bar. In the Customer Center window, select the name of the customer job from which you are transferring the job credit from the list at the left side of the window. Then click the Transactions tab to the right if needed. If you are linking a Received Payment to the General Journal entry, then double-click the Received Payment in the Transactions tab to open it. Then place a check mark to the left of the journal entry in the payment to select it. Then click the Save and Close button to save the edited payment. Alternatively, if you are linking an existing credit memo for the job, then double-click the Credit Memo in the Transactions tab to open that instead. Then click the Use Credit to Apply to Invoice button in the main tab of the ribbon to open the Apply Credit to Invoices window. Then place a check mark next to the journal entry within this window and then click the Done button. Finally, click the Save and Close button in the Credit Memo window. The next step is to create another general journal entry to move the credit from the clearing account to the new job. Once again, select Company, Make General Journal Entries from the menu bar to open the Make General Journal Entries window. On the first transaction row, select the correct accounts receivable account for the job from the account column. Then enter the amount of the job credit to transfer from the clearing account under the credit column to the right in the same row. Then select the name of the customer job to which you are transferring the credit from the Name column to the right of that. On the second row, select the name of the Clearing account from the Account column. Ensure that the matching job credit amount appears under the Debit column for this row. Then click the Save and Close button to record the second general journal entry. At this point, you can then apply the transferred job credit when receiving payment for the customer's job within the Receive Payments window as normal. Please review the lesson titled Applying Customer Credits for specific instructions on this process if needed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.